Crop Talk on Market Journal is supported by Nebraska's soybean farmers and their checkoff. Well, as planting season is approaching, the fields of soil you see now will be dotted with new crops for the upcoming growing season. But alongside those crops come insects looking for their next free meal. We caught up with an extension entomologist to find out which pests might be causing some trouble for crop producers this year. Market Journal's Mike Straub is standing by with the scoop. Mike? Corn insects were one of the topics at the University of Nebraska Extension Corn Production Clinic. Less damage from European corn borer has been observed in field corn. For food grade corn producers, European corn borer can be devastating. Routinely checking fields for an infestation is recommended. Well, a lot of our field corn that we're growing here in Nebraska has um, the Bt crystals in them. And uh, so those traits help control European corn borer and other generally lepidopterous insects, uh, moths and butterflies and things like that that are feeding on corn. And they do a really pretty good job of controlling those pests in field corn. But when you get into food grade corn, much of that food grade corn, they do not want those uh, traits in them. And so it makes them susceptible to feeding by lepidopterous insects such as European corn borer. And so we can have a real problem with that. And in those cases, people have to routinely check their fields for the uh, infestation of European corn borer and then make a decision, okay, do I have sufficient number here uh, for me to treat those or not with an insecticide uh, usually. Um, and so um, not only do we have issues with like, white corn, food grade white corn, but popcorn is a real problem because the popcorn plant is a much less robust plant than um, are the field corn varieties. And so uh, popcorn growers are real sensitive to looking for European corn borer, making sure that they're controlled at the right time. When you're scouting for European corn borer in particular, you have to keep in mind that it um, has two generations um, a year in Nebraska. And um, so on world stage corn, you want to be looking for um, the leaf feeding, which as a leaf unrolls out of the whirl, you get this what looks like kind of a shotgun pattern, shot, shot hole pattern in the leaves. And then once you've seen that, then you have to pull that whirl out and unroll the whirl to actually look for the larvae inside. Um, in reproductive stages, so usually shortly after tassels when we start to see uh, the uh, moths flying for the second generation of European corn borer and uh, they start laying eggs um, on the plant and we actually prefer people to look through the whole plant for these eggs that are kind of a cream colored, whitish colored um, egg mass that they, they kind of overlap them so it makes it look like fish scales on a plant and pretty often they're on the underside of the leaves but they can be on the top, they can be on the stalk, they can be just lots of places. But when you look for those, same kind of thing, you're going to want to um, assess how many egg masses that you find on average per plant. Western bean cutworm is another pest to be on the lookout for. It's important to scout and find these in the egg stage to best prevent an infestation. If you do find you have a western bean cutworm problem, it is recommended to apply pesticide when corn is 95% tasseled. So, when you look at them, when they're very small, they look like little tannish brown little worms. They're uh, caterpillars. And um, so um, as they grow, they, um, of course, get larger, but they, they take on kind of a tan pink color. And um, there's a, a structure right behind the head. It's this little shield that uh, turns almost black. And then the large larvae, in particular, you can see that that black shield is divided by some white stripes. And uh, up until that point when it's easier to see them, I always like to describe what looks like on their back like tire treads. And you can see that on there. And, and that's uh, a pretty good way to tell whether you have larvae. Usually they're going to be, they're going to end up in the ear tips where they're feeding. And that's why you can tell, okay, I have Western bean cutworm. Unfortunately, at that point, it's really too late to control them. And so we want to actually look for eggs as the eggs are being laid. And those eggs are usually laid in the uh, upper third of the plant and almost always on the top surface. And 
I always like to just say on the top leaf of the plant, look for these um, egg masses. They're little white colored dome shaped eggs that are usually in masses of five to 200. And um, when you see so five to eight percent of those, five to eight percent of the plants with those egg masses, then we usually recommend that insecticide be applied. Um, once the plants are, like the field is 95 percent tassel, and um, then that's, that's a good timing to put these insecticides out. The most significant pest of continuous corn is the corn rootworm. Continuous corn production often leads to higher populations of corn rootworms. Heavy rootworm pressure may result in reduced efficiency of an insect control product, whether it's BT corn hybrid or an insecticide. The uh, western corn rootworm is the most important pest of continuous corn in Nebraska. And uh, we'll say insect pests. Some of these diseases are pretty important as well, but as far as insect pests, a corn rootworm is the most important because if we, uh, if a farmer doesn't control that pest, then you will have plants that the larvae will eat much of the root, ma root, root ball, um, root mass off of that plant. And so it um, keeps the plant from being able to deliver nutrients um, to the developing plant and the ear. And it also uh, reduces the stability of the plant so that if you have a wind event, it's going to blow it over and um, then it, uh, here again, it just is not able to grow very well, and um, at the end of the year, it gets really, it makes it really difficult to harvest that field because nothing is in a row anymore. The use of diverse management tactics on a farm is the best strategy to manage rootworms. Periodic crop rotation out of corn can greatly reduce a rootworm population. Avoid repeated use of the same insecticide products and BT corn proteins to avoid development of resistance. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Mike Straub.